hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to take a look on a newly released feature of generative AI capabilities with power virtual agent so this is still in preview and this is specifically being rolled out into us region so make sure that uh, the environment which you are working which you want to try this new feature you should be in a us region so right now i'm into my this ncr tech help environment which is been created into us region so i would able to cater the newly released ai generative with power virtual agent so first of all like what is this uh, and why microsoft has come up with this ai generative capabilities with power virtual agent as well so when we say like when we wish to build out any bot so the normal intent is to have the topics the entities created so that the bot can be easily available to answer the queries of any users and if not then a uh, live agent would be a fallback option for that uh, with the system escalation topic you can convert or divert the queries to live agent but now with the generative ai they want a middle layer in between where we can have the uh, query answered with a generative uh, ai feature where uh, the generative answers can be i mean act as a fallback instead of like uh, directing uh, the users directly to the live agents and when i say generative answer that means like a power virtual agent would allow the bot to communicate to the internal or external sites publicly available sites to gather the information and that information would be passed on based on your query i mean if it's matching it's uh, it, based on the moderation level if it's if you have set up the moderation level high for your environment then you would be having the best matching results extracting out to the from the internal and external sites so that's where uh, the power virtual agents generative answers came into the picture and now it's in preview so we can take a live look live demo how these generative capabilities can be included within your power bot so i am into my make.powerapps.com and i'll just go to the left hand side uh, option power platform where i can launch my power virtual agents and uh, i while doing this while building out the generative answers ai capability i would be taking help of one simple bot which would be giving me the information related to uh, let's say cars if i'm a car uh, uh, used car seller companies or buyer company then i would want to have one bot in place where i can give the queries answers to the queries which are being placed within my bot and the answer should gather the information from my local bot with the topics which i would be creating within my bot and as well as the external sites uh, the popular sites which would be giving me few answers where my rather than like engaging my live agent directly i can have those answers generated through my this generative ai capability so, so as i said like uh, your environment to try it out your environment has to be us region and when you create a bot you can name the bot i'll just say car faqs and over here because it's in us so you can see like there is an option boost your conversation with generative answers and that is in preview so what it does like uh, it will allow you to enter few of the sites from where you would like to fetch your fallback answers so definitely the first priority would be the local topics which you are going to create into your this chatbot only then if not found then the answers would be found in the public sites so as i said like i'll try to find the some few car sites which i can leverage to have my this uh, into this part so i'll just say uh, this site yalamotors.com let's include that and just remember this has to be publicly accessible sites or internal site and right now i'm just adding up one but but uh, once you create this you would able to add multiple other sites as a sources so it's just setting up the bot let's wait all right so our uh, bot has been set up and once it's set up you can directly start adding the local topics to your uh, this bot via this option or you can just go to the ai capability setting to actually look at the settings what uh, information or what additional sites you can add over here so right now if i scroll down uh, you would be seeing that uh, 
over here choose how to choose a website if it's external site make sure it's indexed and found by a bing so uh as you know like uh, we added this yellow motto as one of the site i can actually pick up multiple other sites and can add that information to my bot so that it can fetch the answers from multiple sources multiple public websites so i'll add one more and just remember it works only the at the top level i mean in the top level and the two levels down if i'm saying this dubaicars.com then it can actually go two levels inside to it uh, to extract the data or the results and over here in the bot content moderation as i said so default is high that means like if response is matched then only it will be served uh, for your queries medium like it actually actually can fetch up the vague uh, answers uh, i mean the score is less than also like it will fetch the answers so i would recommend again to keep this as default that is high and in the advanced configuration create generative answers node preview so you can actually create more uh, definitive answers we can directly go to this uh, setting to save and we are we are okay we are fine to test our bot so i'll just close this part so that we can have a better space to test and over here i'll just simply say best selling car in dubai so i have not created any topic so i'm just waiting for the topic to be fetched from the public sites which we have added so according to this site the nissan sunny has been best with the best selling car from promising models in dubai so that is being surfaced this answer being surfaced from this uh, the added site if i say like uh, latest electric vehicle in 2023 So if the answer would be present in in these two sites in these so, two sources, then I would get an answer. So it is there. The latest electric vehicles in India includes a 2023 Jeep Gladiator. So that means like uh, most of the answers of my this current intended topic is being served by these two sites. So uh, that's how like actually you can create you can have your more directive answers. So rather than I mean just leaving or just engaging live agents to solve the customer's request, you can have multiple internal sites as well like for example you have created multiple sharepoint faq sites and you want your chatbot or uh, to to consume those sites to give the answers then you can leverage this ai capability of generative ai capability of adding the public and internal sites so that the intent of the video was just to familiarize you with the newly released feature so just keep tuned once once this feature is already i mean comes in live and then we can start leveraging this one so this is our next uh, next level like is taking next level to our power virtual agents and i really like this uh, newly added advanced thing and i hope uh, you also like that so that's it for today's video thank you